Within days, she's expected to become Thailand's first woman prime minister. 44-year-old businesswoman Yingluck Shinawatra greeted supporters in Bangkok after her party claimed a landslide election victory. Do you think you would be sitting here right now as the leader of the winning party if your name was not Chinawatra? Well, people won't select me only um, uh, my last name is Chinawatra. So I have to put myself uh, to the country. Ying Luck is the youngest sister of Thailand's most controversial politician, ex-premier Thaksin Shinawatra, the one-time owner of Manchester City Football Club. He was ousted in a military coup in 2006. Now in self-imposed exile in Dubai, he said he congratulated his sister. I, I, I gave her uh, the uh, uh, best wish in the morning before she casting her, her vote. And then uh, I... After the exit poll, I congratulate her. Exit polls showed Ying Luck's Putai party won more than 300 of Thailand's 500 parliamentary seats, thrashing the incumbent Prime Minister's Democratic Party. Addressing supporters, he later accepted he'd lost. It's now clear from the election results so far that the Putai party has won the election and the Democratic Party concedes defeat. I would like to congratulate the PTP for the right to form a government. Thailand's been embroiled in crisis for six years. Rural communities accuse Thailand's rich urban elite of abusing power. Protests by Shinawatra's red-shirted supporters were met with bloody crackdowns by the country's military, in which 90 protesters died. Thaksin Shinawatra's supporters now want him to return. He says he will, but not just yet. Well, uh, I will tell them that uh, I really want to go back, but I will wait for a right moment and the right situation. Many fear Thailand could slide back into violence if the transition of power is blocked by a legal ruling or another military coup. For Ying Luck, the test is whether she and her name will heal or harm Thailand's political scars. Simon Newton, Sky News.